Hello, I'm at my ceiling gallery at Barclay. This is Justin Renner, our Spotlight artist for this month. I'm gonna ask him some questions. Uh, what made you start creating? So I'd be recording, I wouldn't be, I'd be like really close and messing up a bunch and I'd get frustrated and I'd be like, oh, this and I'd walk in the other room and where my studio space was I wanted to stay in a creative space uh, but not focused on the same task mm -hmm. um, so I'd go work on a painting um, or something and then I'd come back nine times out of ten I'd hit the part friends started telling me stuff like uh, oh wow why are you not showing this to anyone like and right. I was like oh it's because it's weird and not good <laughs> but like uh but that's yeah. art sometimes it's yeah. not good yeah or weird yeah it's too true too true <laughs> why does it have to be good you know oh yeah, yeah, yeah well I mean I guess it's like uh it doesn't have to be good I didn't ever think that it was serving its pur purpose for me like right. yeah. without anyone being there I use this this is like a way to f sort through you know cool um what does art mean to you a lot of my life makes it into pretty much all of my life makes it into my paintings mm -hmm. um would you talk about one of your paintings like go into detail about one of them no, no? yeah yeah of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh any anyone just pick one um well, a lot of them have to do with borderline personality disorder. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really um, misunderstood, it's very stigmatized, um, and it's, a, it's seriously challenging. Sort of, uh, I've coped with my uh, difficulties and uh, adversities through art, and um, also use it as a means to try and raise awareness, and also like um, act as a beacon for others like me. But yeah, uh, so that being said, um, oh. this piece right here, right behind you, um, is called uh, Through a Screen Door. Um, and that's uh, trying to capture the, the feeling of looking through a screen door in at your lover who's about to leave you. Um, fear of abandonment is uh, uh, one of the big things that uh, characterizes my disorder, and uh, that's sort of highlighted here, I think. But uh, yeah, so I do this thing where I, um, and I guess it's sort of an expressionist trick, I don't always paint myself looking uh, to be exactly the way that I am in my, my work. A lot of these are self-portraits. Um, that don't like the hammerhead over there that's a self-portrait um uh from a mo it's the way i felt about myself at the moment uh what is your art style oh uh, i say i i guess it'd be like a new wave of uh expressionism really yeah. um neo expressionism i mean like there's really very little difference so it's, you know if you had to put a label on it so it's got elements of like uh pretty much most of the modern movement, like especially early on modern movement, like so like uh, fauvism, because they don't always use colors the way that they're supposed to be used, because why would you? Um, to uh, uh, a lot of expressionism, tons of expressionism, it's pretty much the, the, the meat and potatoes of what my style is. And then you've got surreal aspects and pop art aspects and um, I know this piece over here is like Egon Schiele inspired. Oh yeah, I've got yeah, yeah, a bunch um, of Schiele inspired um, stuff. I think that's how you say it. Schiele, and then um, also, um, um, what's his name? Uh, well, is it Klimt? Klimt, Gustav Klimt. Klimt. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so those yeah, two those are really huge good. influences on me. Cool. Um, but like biggest influences, Francis Bacon, um, uh, are like also like like Basquiat. Uh, Blake, a lot of the darker stuff, or the the um, more I guess it's kind of more dramatic. Bosch, I love Bosch's work too. Um, like uh, Picasso, I, I mean, what's not to love? Um, last year, I literally glued trash to more trash and sold it for a thousand dollars. I don't understand how it works, but it works. I do, <laughs> I I know, right? It's. <laughs> Like last year was like a lot of that with art, like getting 
free flowing samples and just painting them and calling them coasters. Like, so you don't have to spend a lot of money. I try to spend, if possible, no money. Yeah. If I could make money while I was getting supplies, I would. Well, you need to teach me a little bit. Oh yeah, that. just <laughs> big trash day. Uh, you know, always be looking for those free paints from people who aren't using them. Right. Go to a friend's so... house and you're in their garage and they have a bunch of spray paint sitting around that looks old as, like old as can be. Mention something, be like, hey, do you use this? And you know, yeah. this stuff goes bad. Okay. Also, look for the cheap places. Like, Ollie's is great for spray paint. They have tons of it for real cheap. And then uh, also, like, um, yeah, like dollar stores and stuff. You know, mm -hmm. if you can cut a corner, cut it. It doesn't need to be there. Um, one last question, and you probably already just answered it. What other advice would you give to oh, a new artist? There's tons of advice I give. Um, only work with galleries that don't take more than 30%. Do not let people steal from you. Hold your ground on your prices. Keep them low, you know. I mean, don't ask for too much. Be honest, be fair. Learn to sell yourself. If you can, get rid of having to rely on galleries altogether. Um, I did that all of last year. Um, this is the first gallery I've ever worked with. Um, uh, yeah, I just did pop-ups and uh, picked up freelance work everywhere I could. Talk to as many people as you can and every person that you talk to, every single one of them will be of value in some way. Find out what that is and how you can how you can be of service to them. If you can do that, you will find a way to make money. If you want to make money, go to bars. Take your, your drawing pad, just start drawing people. You can usually hustle a buck or two out of somebody if you did a good job, and they have it. Uh, you can sell prints, just walk into a bar, walk into a bar with an oversized portfolio full of prints. I guarantee you won't even have to do a thing. Somebody will ask you what's inside of that. There's your sale opportunity. Yeah, stuff like that, just be smarter. Work harder than everyone. Literally, work more, harder, longer, better. Like that Daft Punk song, faster, whatever. Do that sh Do all of that um, 10 times more than the next guy because otherwise he's gonna be the one selling the painting and you're not. Well, thanks for being here. Ah, uh, thanks for having me. And thanks for showing your art here. Justin will have a closing show. Um, we will have an open house from 3 to 7 on Saturday, August 12th. Um, he will be doing portraits for people. If you want him to draw you, a friend, or both. And he will be selling them for $20. $20. And you can see him there and us and this beautiful gallery and then his art will go away so you better come and look at it burning all of it before he burns it all <laughs> anything that's not bought is getting burned in a pile <laughs> <laughs> i hope to see you there come to the show and show your face and look at art thank you beautiful bye <laughs>